Welcome to another Virtual Penny Sketch Break, sponsored by Hyatt's All Things Creative. These are short, 15-minute sketching demos brought to you every other week. My name is Michaela, Art Center Educator here at the Birchfield. Today's prompt is Shaman, based on the new exhibition, Bill Stewart, A Shaman's World. So let's get started. To get started with this project, first you're gonna need paper, a pencil, black markers, and optional are colored markers. So first I'm going to start on the body of my character. And that's gonna be kind of in the middle of my paper and I'm gonna fill up about a quarter of it. Next, I want my characters to look like he's sitting on his head upside down. So I'm gonna get his head below and kind of draw it to make it look like he's sitting on his head. Something like that. Next, we need arms. And then legs. So once you have the body of your character drawn out, you can start adding in details. So those details could be, does your character have hair? I think mine does, so I'm gonna draw some hair. I'm gonna draw him an ear. And maybe only a little bit of his ear shows on the other side. I see him having eyes, so I see him with a triangle nose and then he needs a mouth. And you can keep adding these little details to your character until he is full up and you filled the page with your design and your character. And yours doesn't need to look like mine. but you definitely can if you don't want to come up with your own. I see him with stripes on his leg. So keep adding on as you're going. One thing to think about while you're working on your shaman is ask yourself the question, what is a shaman? And a shaman is a person who has a special connection to the spiritual world. They have a connection with the natural world and in essence, have a connection with landscape, living creatures, and other humans. 
And in cultures all over the world, shaman are seen as healers and people who can provide spiritual guidance. So when you're working on your shaman based on the Bill Stewart exhibition, it's not that Bill Stewart had his shaman were seen as spiritual guidance for a creative journey, for his imagination. So think of those whimsical elements that you see in Bill, Sh in Bill Stewart's work and add that to your character you're creating today. Another element that Shaman and Bill Stewart's characters have are animals. So I don't have an animal yet here on my paper, but I do have a natural element, which I drew a little sun here. So I'm gonna flip my character around and I'm gonna find a spot for a crow. And you'll see lots of crows in the Bill Stewart exhibition as well. You also see lots of crows in Birchfield's work. So I drew a little crow there. I'm going to add some details to his eyes and face. This eye, I want to be careful not to get too dark because the crow will probably be a dark color as well. Add little details to his face. Maybe he's got scribbly designs. Just fill in your paper as best you can with different designs. Maybe the rest of his shirt has polka dots. A lot of the stuff you'll see in this exhibition, if you look carefully or you look at the artwork for a long time, you're always going to see something new every time you look at it. So it always helps to walk through the exhibit twice because you'll always see something different no matter how many times you walk through it. And that's what's so special about his artwork. So. I started with some stripes. We got some squiggle lines, some polka dots, a crow. We have eyes, nose, mouth, ears, feet, hands. So I think we're gonna get started on coloring. So before we add in any of the fun colors, we're gonna start with outlining our character. So you'll take your Sharpie or your black marker and just start outlining the entire thing. And you don't need to rush this process at all. Make sure you're just getting all of the outside Lines. All right, so there's my outlined character. I'm gonna come in with my fine tip Sharpie and just do some simple detail work here. And I probably will come back with that bigger Sharpie one more time just in case there's anything else I wanted to hit. But so the reason I'm using this fine tip is just to kind of add in depth. So for instance, this ear, I'm going to erase some of this pencil so you can see it better. So this ear is supposed to be behind, so kind of a thinner line will make it appear as if it's farther away. Whereas a thick line 
bring something forward and closer to you. So with a thin line, you just give the illusion, the illusion of depth. And I'm just gonna fix that. And you can do this with any artwork that you're working on. Add in that thinner line when you're working with pen. Instant depth and variation of weight, which is always good. You have his nose. I think that should be bold. So here, little mouth. Maybe the sun, do I want the sun outlined? Mm, not sure yet. Let's do hands. So keep working on this. So here's the character so far with all of the ink set in. Now I'm gonna come in with my colorful markers and start to color him. There's no right or wrong way to color as it might be pretty obvious, but try and make sure everything gets colored. I know I've got a really big space here, so it's gonna be pretty difficult to get all colored in. So one of the easy ways to do that is if you add in more designs to a large area that doesn't have anything drawn into it, if you add more to it, it adds little smaller pockets of color that you can add. So when you're done coloring, this is what my Bill Stewart shaman character looks like. Finished coloring him all in. There are some optional things you can do after coloring that other people have done with their shaman. For instance, some of our docent artists who have come in to do this activity in person have created these and they added feathers and foam buttons and scrap paper and ribbon 
to give your shaman a little bit more detail. So if you have those craft supplies at home, you feel free to add those to your shaman. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining our sketch break. Thank you to our sponsor, Hyatt's All Things Creative, as always, for their support. And join us next time for our new sketch prompt. Stay tuned.